You've just received a green card. Congratulations! Now what's next? Hi, my name is Audra Doyle and I'm the owner and attorney of Doyle Law here in Atlanta, Georgia. And if you have just received a green card, that is a major accomplishment. And we wanna make sure that you do not lose your green card inadvertently. Uh, we wanna make sure that you maintain your status as a lawful permanent resident and also that you are eligible to become a US citizen in the future. So today we're gonna to talk about the do's and don'ts of what you need to do with your green card. The first thing that I want you to know is that being a lawful permanent resident is not the same thing as being a U.S. citizen. You do not have the right to vote in the United States, and I want you to be sure not to tell anyone that you are a U.S. citizen. So you're not going to have a U.S. passport. You're going to keep your country's passport and use the green card in order to re-enter the United States. The next thing to know, let's talk about traveling. Traveling can be a really tricky issue for people with green cards. Some of my clients, they get confused about what a green card does. A green card allows you to live permanently in the United States. However, it is not a super duper travel document. It doesn't allow you to travel whenever you please and stay out of the U.S. as long as you like. For permanent residency, the words permanent gives you a great idea. You must be residing in the United States permanently, and that means more than half the time of every year. So if you're taking trips outside of the U.S., please make sure that those trips are always less than six months outside of the United States. Very important. Now, some people with green cards, they have something happen. For example, they may get a job abroad. They may get their dream job and they need to go abroad for a couple of years. There is a special document that you can apply for called a re-entry permit. And the re-entry permit tells the USCIS and Customs and Border Protection that you have no intention of abandoning your green card. And it will be very helpful for you to get that re-entry permit. I will make another video about re-entry permits. It's a lot to go over, but that's something to keep in mind if you need to travel a lot. But keep in mind, even with the re-entry permit, you need to maintain strong ties to the United States. Now, the last thing with your green card that I want to go over is uh, when will you be eligible to become a U.S. citizen? So once you have permanent residency, you will be eligible to become a U.S. citizen normally uh, five years after you receive the green card. And they are going to review your application from when you receive the green card, such as an I-140 petition, I-130 petition. They're going to look and see if you've spent most of your time in the United States. They're gonna look for trips that were longer than six months. They're gonna look for good moral character. So the time that you're spending in the US as a permanent resident does count towards your citizenship in many different ways. Last but not least, there is a special exception. There's a few, but the most common special exception is for people who are married to U.S. citizens and living with a U.S. citizen. You only have to wait three years instead of the normal five years. So to sum it up with a green card, you need to make sure that you're maintaining your residence in the U.S. and that means physical presence. No trips that are too long. Make sure that you're not claiming to be a U.S a citizen and uh, make sure that you are getting ready to apply for citizenship if that's what you want to do in the future. So if you have any questions, please feel free to send us a message. I love getting your comments here on YouTube and don't forget to go check us out over on our other platforms. We have Facebook, TikTok, and Instagram. Don't forget to click the bell here so that you're going to get notifications and subscribe to our channel.